Wave Studio. What's up guys, this is IWS and I'm back at it again with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing off this mastering plugin I created in Patcher. So basically, this is kind of like a channel strip plugin because usually channel strips be having like compressors, equalizers and shit like that, right? They be having EQs and shit. But uh, yeah, so this is kind of like that. It's, it's a little bit different, it's, it's, it's different, but and so basically we got an SSL like compressor, we got the threshold, got the makeup gain, we got the attack 0.01 ms up to 0 0.10 all the way up to 30 ms. We got the release at 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, 16 ms. And then we got the ratio 1, 2, all the way up and it goes up to 10. And this right here is the bypass button for the whole plugin itself. So all you got to do is just press it. Boom. So you have it on. Now you have it off. So we got that. And we also got the bypass mix. Uh, so you can also blend your mix within the whole plugin itself. So like you can blend the mix or you can have it all the way dry, all the way off as in wet, or you can have it in the middle or just, you know what I'm saying? Just have fun with that. Then we got a brick wall. This right here is the ceiling of the compressor. And below that we have a knee. We have it on default. You can put on soft or vintage. And over here we got oversampling. We got it off. You put it on 2x or 4x and below that we have harmonics and so you can boost the harmonics by going like this but to be able to use the harmonics you got to make sure you, that you have this on and so you can boost the harmonics you can also boost the eq of the harmonics and you can change the frequencies of the harmonics and you can listen to the frequencies of the harmonics so so you basically you can get precise mixing and the reason why I added harmonics to this compressor is because usually a lot of um, SSL like compressors or SSL compressors like when you boost up the volume usually it has a little bit harmonics so that's why I want to add harmonics to this compressor you know so yeah so that's what I did with that and up here is a dynamic equalizer and I got four bands uh, so each band has a pre gain, which is the side chain, and a post gain, which is the main volume. But when you get higher and higher, the volume will get compressed. And not just only that, you can mute it, you can unmute it, um, you can turn it down, you can turn it up, you can change the frequencies, just like so. So, yeah, so. This is basically a compressor, but don't really have the, this is a compressor, but don't have the, you know, like the ratio, the attack, the release, you know, shit like that. So, and below that, we got the gain, we got the gain boost. Uh, so it's the input and output. And below that, we got the levels, which is the clipper. It kind of acts like a limiter, but it's not a limiter. Uh, this right here just basically just changes the DB of the track or any kind of sound that you got playing so you can change the levels of the db from from having it up and having it down and lower and lower and lower and over here we got the saturator and the saturator is for these eqs right here for each band so you can change the saturation for all four bands and yeah so yeah so that's the ui actually let me edit this text real quick um there we go so yeah so let's go to the map this is what the maps look like uh so i got my values right here then i got more values for the compressor then i got the three channels for the oversampling so that's default 2x and we got 4x right here and i use uh i use fruity mute to change the channels so let me bring it up real quick to show you guys so so that's oversampling off that and this right here. That's what it looks like when I change it. So, so yeah, so, and over here, I did a custom built equalizer. I got four bands and I got the side chain connected to the pregame. So the pregame is the side chain from the equalizer. Then the equalizer go to the compressor. Like I said, I'm not using no attack or release or a ratio. So this is what it looks like for a quick example. 
So when I go, so when I go down, it gets lower. When I go up, it gets boosted. But if you keep going up, the signal will get compressed. So it's like that for all four bands. And yeah. Now let's try it out. Let's have a little bit of fun with it. So yeah, so that's Masterlizer. If you like today's video, hit the like button, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. And I'm out. Peace.